The last two seasons of this series have focused entirely on Nusku, the closest habitable planet to the fictional star Roseus. Season 3 will be focused on Mazu, the second habitable planet in the Roseus system. Mazu is tidally locked to its star, just like Nusku. However, it is quite unique due to its high concentration of water. Mazu is the first planet in our system to gain any form of life. Our entire timeline for this project starts at the close encounter between Mazu and the rogue planet Eden. During the encounter, some alien life forms found their way from Eden to Mazu through transpermia, a process where a collision creates debris that contains life, and those debris carry the life forms from one planet to another. Mazu is a water world with a comparable atmosphere to Earth, so it is a very hospitable place for life. Therefore, the life forms brought from Eden will have a very easy time turning Mazu into a home. On Nusku, photosynthesis evolved extremely quickly. However, on Mazu, this will not be the case. Mazu's aliens will take over 600 million years to evolve photosynthesis. Perhaps this is due to a long-term ice age very early in Mazu's history, where the entire planet was frozen over with ice. The lack of sunlight reaching the water below made it impossible for photosynthesis to evolve. Maybe an impact or an increase in volcanic activity finally broke up the ice enough for life to begin using the sun as an energy source. Mazu's colossal oceans will be on average 20 to 22 kilometers deep, of course fluctuating over time. Their extreme depth means a couple of things. The first one being that Mazu will have very little land coverage. For a little over half of its natural history, Mazu will have no land above sea level on the side of the planet facing the sun. And when there is land coverage, the land will never take up more than 20% of that sun facing surface. Mazu's extreme ocean depth will also affect the environment on the seafloor. The pressure at the bottom of the ocean will be so intense that in some areas, water may become solid. This would result in ice flats covering the deepest parts of the alien seabed. Mazu will certainly provide a challenge for alien life. The many bizarre features of this planet will certainly make the ecosystem very different from the other two planets we cover in this project. In the next episode, we will take a look at the emergence of the first groups of multicellular organisms and their early diversity. Thank you all for watching.